Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is me here, Hyperplace, today back with another video on the channel. And in this video, uh, we're back at this stuff again, okay? We're back at the same old critical error message that we've had before. And I wish that they would just update the whole entire thing for, like, the next seven months. And... Yeah, but they're probably not going to do that. So we're going to be back to sticking with methods, okay? So, um, yeah. <clears throat> if you guys are getting this message again, do not worry. Your boy Hype has got it fixed, okay? As the last time. So, uh, yeah. If you guys did watch my previous video on scripting view critical error, you guys will know that I fixed it for most people. And then there's some people that either didn't follow the full video instructions or literally skipped halfway through it. Don't skip through the video, just watch the video so you actually know what what to do. And most people I know you don't want to hear my annoying, my annoying voice, but it's okay. I'm going to try to help you guys, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm a little hyper right now. I literally just pulled an all-nighter. My schedule's whack. I know, it's sad. But without further ado, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And, uh, yeah, let's hop straight into it. So, um, the supported versions we currently do not have on the current, uh, yeah, we're just gonna click out of this. We don't need that. Alright, so, this link right here is going to be left in the description below. Okay, I don't want to see comments saying, where's the download link? Where's the download link? I cannot find the download link. If I see a comment like that, I'm gonna start removing comments. Nah, I'm playing with, but like, the comment, okay, the comments that I have seen, trying to find the download link, it is in the description below, okay? This link right here, the mega file, is in the description below, and before you guys start dissing me, because I did see a comment, it was pretty hilarious, it said, uh, imagine, why, why are you using mega link, or something like that, like, why having a mega link? I didn't make the link, so, yeah, so uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go to this website right here that i left in the description below it is a hundred percent safe it's not no uh crypto virus or anything you ain't gotta worry about that um but yeah so uh let's start off with this what you want to do is go to your gta5 right click go to manage actually scratch that go to properties go to local files and go to verify integrity of game files we're going to verify that and it's going to verify my whole entire game so while it's doing that we're going to go back down here to the wonderful chrome and we're going to stay on this website and what you're going to want to do is if you play on epic games open the epic games and you're going to drag the latest file right here this one right here you're going to want to drag it into your um you're going to download it first i don't play on epic games but if you play on Epic Games, download the latest one you see right here. Okay, if you play on Epic, download the latest one. If you play on Rockstar, download the latest one. If you play on, and here's the scripted Bs. If you play on Steam, download the latest one. I play on Steam. Okay, so I'm going to download Steam. Alright, go ahead and download that. Alright, it's downloading. Now, um, go over here to your... Uh, here's steam all right and if you play on rockstar you're going to want to download the, the gta5 launcher bypass it's simple you just install these both to your gta5 main directory i'm not going to do it because i don't play on rockstar but just install both of these to your gta5 main directory both of these right here install them to your gta5 main directory okay so uh steam users you don't have to do that and epic users you also don't have to do that so uh, once you guys have got that installed, that will take a minute. Um, you're gonna want to go to Scriptic V versions, and you're gonna want to install the latest Scriptic V. Now listen, before you guys just go in here and start downloading random Scriptic Vs, make sure the Scriptic V 1.0.2699.0 zip matches the GTA 5. If not, you're gonna have a bunch of whacked up files. So just make sure you download this, okay? Both of them the same one. Should be 1.0.2699.0. Same ones. Download that. Okay, that's downloading. So now, once that gets on downloading, you're gonna wanna 
let me just minimize this real quick all right gta5 main directory is still uh verifying my game integrity so it's still verified so once we do we can just go over here and uh i'm gonna just gonna, i'm just gonna do this real quick because um i'm about to start i don't really play gta5 a lot anymore because i've been playing this epic server called don data on gta5 roleplay it is literally a good server if you guys like gta5 roleplay and you guys play 5m and you guys need some good servers to play on listen i can highly recommend um dawn data roleplay it is literally the best server that i have ever played on dude like there's courts there's um judges it's literally ultra realistic there is a lot of rules um if i click on the rules right here i can just show you guys how many rules there are in this server it's literally mad like it's it's crazy dude dawn data and the owner of the server is actually a very known YouTuber. His name is Putter. He's a very known YouTuber to the uh, YouTube community. Uh, he has like over a million subs. He's pretty chill. He's I like his videos. Um, but you might run into him in the server. You might run into him. You might run into a lot of other streamers. 99% of people in this server are streamers. So that's why it's a lot of rules. There's a lot of rules. A lot of rules. Never break character. <laughs> A lot of rules, a lot of rules. A lot of rules. Alright. Alright, so uh, we're going to... But I, I highly recommend that server is literally awesome. And, um, yeah. Okay. So, I'm actually... You guys can skip through the video if y'all want to. Uh, but I'm going to save y'all a whole bunch of time. And I'm just going to cut until, you know, biggest on updating. Or downloading. Alright, I will see you guys then. Okay, so once my GTA 5 thing has done, did its thing right here. It's already done, so. And my also, also this thing is done as well. So, uh, I can now close out of this safely. And, uh, go over to the file that you, uh, the scripted view. We're going to install, actually, we're not going to install scripted first. We're going to install the GTA 5 first, because that's more important. Make sure you guys have the same one as me right here. 2 uh 699.0 make sure you have that one if not i don't know what's going to happen to your game files but it probably won't be a good thing so um yeah go to your gta5 main directory wherever that might be for some reason i have that opened up i have no idea why go to your gta5 main directory browse local files all right we're in here so now um you will see we have a gta5 right here now um we're not going to click on that, but what we are going to do is go back over here. We're going to pull up two screens. Pull up this one to the right-hand side and pull up this one to the left-hand side. Alright, once we have that, pull this over a little bit. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you will see you guys have GTA 5 in this folder on WinRAR. Make sure you have WinRAR as well. Don't open it up with anything else. I do not recommend 7-zip or anything like that. I recommend WinRAR. Alright, so once you guys have this, you guys have GTA 5.exe. What you're gonna wanna do, this will not, this will not delete your game. Okay? I promise. Go over to your GTA 5 in your GTA 5 main directory. And you want to, uh, right click on GTA 5, click delete. It will not delete your game, I promise you. Now you're gonna go over here and drag into your GTA 5 main directory, GTA 5.exe. Drag and drop that. Okay, right there. 725.22, you should have that right there. Now, what you're going to want to do, take the language select.exe, delete this one from your GTA directory, drag and drop it in your GTA directory. Alright, you have 12.3. Alright, so 725.22, same one as this one. Take GTA V launcher, right click, same as always, delete, drag and drop. Play GTA V, delete, and drag and drop. Now, here is the very important part. Do not skip this part. Go up to your, one second. Alright, sorry, that was my mom. Alright, so, so what you're, 
what you're, what you're going to do now is once you are in, once you guys have drag and dropped all four of these files, you have an update.rpf and an update2.rpf. What you're going to want to do is in your GTA 5 main directory, open up update. And you will have the same exact files in your update folder. And uh, I do not recommend going into your mods and then go to update. I don't recommend that. I recommend straight going to update. All right. And I'm going to take the, both of these files right here and delete them. And then drag and drop them in back in here. You know what? Actually, just to be safe, better safe than sorry, we're actually going to do that on both of them. So in your update folder, your original update folder, drag and drop those and replace that. And then go in your mods folder, update, and then delete these two. Okay. Delete these two update RPFs as well. And then drag and drop the new ones. That's from WinRAR. Okie dokie. Now we have the new GTA 5 uh, installed. So that's probably a good thing. And now what you're going to want to do is it's going to install and extract all that to your GTA 5 main directory. Once it gets done. If it gets done. Okay, we now have them. Refresh your GTA 5 main directory. Alright. You can now close out of this one. We're done with that. Stay in your GTA 5 main directory. Minimize this. Go to the other download. Now we can install script to V. And uh, this is the fun part. And hope that the game does not automatically update by itself. Which it shouldn't. Alright, so once you're in here. You're going to want to... Um, how do I do that? Okay. Once you're in here, you're going to want to open up your bin folder. And you're going to want to do this. This is simple, so simple. Take scripting.v.dll and then put 8.dll and drag and drop that into your GTA 5 main directory. Replace them both. Okay. Refresh. Exit out. Wait. Stay in the GTA 5 main directory. Okay. From my knowledge and experience with this, Never launch your GTA 5 from Steam. Once you have these files installed, try launching it from GTA 5 in your GTA 5 main directory. Try launching it from here. Right click, run as administrator. And it should launch your game perfectly fine. Script check for no. Do not check for script like V updates. I'm scared of what would happen if I did that. Please run GTA 5 using Rockstar Game Launcher. Okay, never mind. That method does not work no more. Just launch GTA 5 how you normally would. And then play GTA, and it will launch your game. I thought that other one would actually work, but I guess not. I thought it would, but it didn't. So do not launch it from the uh, your GTA 5 main directory. Just launch it how you normally would. Now, if you're on Rockstar, you'll have to install Rockstar Bypass Launcher. It should launch your game perfectly fine. We're actually going to load into the game. Let me just turn my. my volume down in the game i don't need volume all right let me make it full screen i do play on controller because i don't play on keyboard and mouse because i don't know how yet so we're actually playing on controller for the pleb that we are and we're gonna we're gonna uh, load in the game make sure our mod menu's working and everything story mode i haven't even completed a prologue yet because this is a whole new account Alright, it should load in pretty fast. I have a decently high computer, so no flex. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if this video does help you guys, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Alright, once you're in the game, once we get past this uh, cutscene, you're going to test this by clicking F8 on your keyboard amount, on your keyboard. Click F8. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, menu is working. Fantastic. And if you guys do not have menu and you guys need help downloading menu, I can make a tutorial on that. That's going to get my channel struck. Yeah, you know. Alright, well that's going to end the video. We're going to wrap it up right here. If you guys did enjoy the video and did help you guys, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. Turn on notifications and it's been me, Hyper Place, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace.